All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show how to calculate and analyze the conversion rate versus the take rate with regard to a website. I'll also explain how best to display this data in a column chart. I will show you four charts, clustered, stacked, 100% stacked, and overlapped. First, the conversion rate can be defined as the number of visitors who take a specific action on a website like signing up for a newspaper or buying a product, etc., divided by the total number of visitors. The take rate, meanwhile, is the number of visitors who get close to performing the goal, but for whatever reason they didn't. And again, you take that number and divide it by the total visitors. So a good example of a conversion would be for a visitor to actually sign up for the trial on this website. while a take would just be starting to fill out the trial and then for whatever reason the visitor quits. Alright, so moving back to Excel, let's say I'm focusing on four cities New York, Boston, Washington, and San Francisco. I already calculated the ratios and right off the bat I can see that for each city the take ratio is right around 35%, while the conversion ratio is about 25% in each city except San Francisco. So even without graphing, I'd probably want to go ahead and move on to other types of analysis, such as A-B testing, to see if I can get those conversions up for San Francisco visitors. But let's take a step back and see how best to graph this data in a column chart. So after clicking anywhere within the table, if I go up to the toolbar and click insert and then recommended charts, Excel 2013 will show the best way to graph this data. So let's start with the clustered column. Make this a little bigger. And so this shows each of the columns, city, conversion, and takes side by side. I don't really like this because it's hard to see the numbers for New York. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. Go back up to inserts, recommended charts, and I will try the stacked column. So I think the stacked column is a little better, but it's also a little bit confusing that you have to differentiate between the visitors versus conversions and takes and then subtract them to get the numbers. Alright, so let me try the 100% stacked recommended charts. One hundred percent stacked. So this column chart is the best by far. It's easy to see the difference between each column. And I love the percentages as it shows the ratios as well. You could take it a step further and add in some data labels if you wanted and make it a little bit clearer. So I'm just going to select the visitors, right click, scroll down to add data labels, and then add data callouts. So obviously those data labels make it a little bit clearer about the information, but you always want to be mindful of information overload. You don't want to overwhelm the viewer with too much. And so finally, my overall favorite chart is one that's not listed, and you would need to create two graphs, one for visitors versus conversions, and the other for visitors versus takes. And so for time's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and delete out conversions, and I will just use visitors versus takes. So I'm going to click anywhere within the table, insert, regular clustered column, So I'm going to click on Visitors, right-click, Format Data Series, and then I'm going to change that to the Secondary Access. And so next I want to make the Takes column bigger so it's easier to see. So I'm going to go and select this down here on the key, right-click, Format Data Series, I'm going to change the series overlap to zero 
and the gap width to 50. So now it's much easier to see. So you can tell that for San Francisco, when there's about 100,000 visitors, there will be about 35,000 takes. Oh, and remember that even though the grids line up, each access does have a much different scale. Okay, thanks for watching.